Hello everybody and welcome back to more Fiend Folio. We are jumping in again. Today is a slightly somber episode. Not because I'm sad, but because I'm incredibly tired. Um, anyways, we're going to play as Jerb here. Just regular Jerb. I haven't played as him in a little while. I'm kind of feeling a Jerb run, especially considering Jerb is the sort of dude that has a pretty good start. Like, he, he synergizes with stuff very well because of his high fire rate. His book do be quite good. Um, but yeah, I've just, I've just woken up. And as I've been saying uh, for the past few days, I'm going to Edinburgh for the weekend, for a long weekend, through fri Friday through Monday. And that means I need to backlog videos. Ooh, a golden penny right off the bat. But I also need to actually do work because I basically need to make up for the two days of work that I'm going to miss. Which means that I have a rather hectic schedule at the minute. And we just hired someone new that I have to help on board partially today. Um, so, goddamn, I'm busy. I'm very busy. So, I was like, hey, when the hell am I going to do my video? And I, unfortunately, made the decision to wake up a bit earlier and do it as soon as I woke up. Which is something that I do not normally do. Um, <laughs> I used to, I used to do my videos a lot more, uh, a lot more often quite early. Because, um, because of, because of when I used to start work. But now I, I normally do them sort of lunchtime and then after work. That's normally the best schedule for me, and I don't normally do them this early. Oh, Shoop. 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 I would love to keep Shoop, but honestly, the book is too good. Also, this Baleful Heart, rather nice. Basically just gives you random purgatory flies. Air uh, flies. Ghosts every now and again. Oh, we do have an XL floor here. The way that these guys move is scary to me. Beautiful. And this time, we get egg. We get egg. Amazing. What a great item. I love egg. Her? Good, good. Right, let's keep her moving. This guy's got the herming shots. But yeah, so the commentary might be a little a little more tired than normal. I hope it's not going to be too bad. I've, I'm a rather energetic person, I think, so it shouldn't be too lacking. Um, let's take you out. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to use my book on this guy, and I'm going to go do the other rooms that I have left, and charge my book up again, so that I have it ready and available for the next boss too. See? Smart. That's what I call quite smart. Good old bit of Isaac to wake me up in the morning. Does anyone else play like video games like really early in the morning to help yourself wake up or like just, just because you go to work uh, later in the day or whatnot? Um, heart containers are converted into three soul hearts each until you've run out of your health bar. Phyllis, okay. Sounds decent. It's a lot of health to gain. Thank you. Um, yeah, I gotta say, like, how many of you are, um, are early birds versus, um, night owls? That's a, that's the question of the day today. Also, why, 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 why'd you hit me? My baleful heart. Tears are, honestly, I'm not even gonna try that other pill. I know the tears up exists now, and that's all I care for. We should probably check in here, considering we got a bit of cashola. Monster candy. On use, hold up a throwable projectile. Pressing uh, a firing direction throws it. If you hit a monster, it becomes permanently charmed and persists. It also attempts to Icarus-style upgrade. If you if you miss uh, the throwing projectile, it can be picked up like a card. Intriguing. Not that we can use it because it is an active again, but... An intriguing idea. Doot. Yeah, that's the question of the day today. Are you an early bird or are you a night owl? I tend to flip flop. Like, I I have to say, for the most part, I'm a night owl. I don't really like the mornings. I don't. I, I tend not to get up. And damn it, I lost my baleful heart. Um, and just because of the way that my job is structured, where I kind of, if for those of you that don't know, I I I have quite a, a lucky schedule with my uh, job where it's called. Uh, I, I don't know if you've heard of it. It's called Ro. The, the, the system under which we work, which is um, result-oriented work environment. Um, that's very nice, by the way. Yeah, it's result-oriented work environment, which essentially means that you are, like, 
your merit is on the work that you do, not on the time that you spend. It's meaning that I don't have to work specific hours. I'm not on like a nine till five. I'm not on like a specific amount of hours per week. I just have to get the, the work that I am required to do done. That is all. I can do it at midnight until three in the morning if I wanted to. It, it really doesn't matter when the work gets done. The only caveat to that is because I'm an operations manager, it means I have to be involved in a lot of the management, which also means that um, I need to be in most of the meetings. So I still have to join all the meetings uh, that happen throughout the day. Um, normally we only have one, but sometimes it can be two. We have like four, four or five a week in general. Um, we'll check this out. Um, honestly, yeah, I'll go for a quarter this early on. Um, yeah, normally we'll have four or five, but otherwise, it's pretty much just up to me when I work. Um, so that means that I tend to get up a little bit later. Um, I don't, I don't normally get up until about ten. Um, because I don't, I don't have to get up any earlier. So why bother? Uh, ooh, ooh. Pumpkin mask is not something we want to be using right now. Holy hell, these really poorly boys are uh, getting aggressive. But magic skin, this is a tough one because I want to use it, but if I use it, I'm stuck with it. If I use magic skin, that is it. That is my item for the rest of the run. I also am only on soul hearts now, so I'll be losing two soul hearts per use, which is quite a hefty cost. So I'm not quite sure. I think, unfortunately, we've managed to gain two items from this uh, this room that are completely useless to us. I'll be honest. Oh my god, I am getting hit loads. I mean, it doesn't help that magic skin is just like in my face and I can't fucking see anything. Yeah, I'm pretty sure both of those are uh, completely untakeable for us right now, which is a little bit upsetting. I really would like to use magic skin, but I know for a fact that if I do, I'm going to regret it. I'm going to see so much mag magic skin on my run. But yeah, so I've kind of, I've kind of like gotten to the point where I tend to work a little bit later and get up a little bit earlier, which I just prefer. And I'm glad that like I have the option to do that. Many people don't. I realize that unfortunately for myself, I've absolutely fucking ruined myself for any future job that I get. Like, if I go back to, to a normal, like, way of working, where it's like 9 to 5 or whatever, it's gonna be rough for me, dude. It's gonna be really rough, because I've gotten very, very accustomed to working the way that I do. It, um, it's really, really, really convenient. <laughs> Not many places offer it, but um, I think especially in IT, a lot more places should. It's it's a, a really, really solid way of having a very, very good work-life balance. And I think out of that spawns, um, spawns more productive working hours. Like, I feel like in 9 to 5 jobs, and in, in just a lot of jobs in general, you tend to have it where you, um, you, you tend to have it where... Like, yeah, you're you're at work nine to five, but you only really actually do work for like three hours of the day. You really don't do much the rest of the day. It's either procrastinating, talking to people, or looking busy. And like, I know that because I've worked in similar jobs before. Like, you don't end up doing a lot of work during those hours, so it kind of makes um, it kind of makes nine to fives jobs feel a bit more pointless. I think, and th this way is just. It kind of, it is kind of respectful of the employee's time and of the fact that the employee has a life. <laughs> like I feel like I feel like the nine to five is quite outdated. Now some jobs do just necessitate um, nine to five. Some jobs do just you unfortunately have to work like that. Can we get some keys, please? Um, yes. Oh, we got a broken heart out of that. I didn't realize that was a broken heart. Damn it. 
We did also gain a red heart that we're not supposed to be able to have, so... See, we've got so much money here, but no fucking keys. <laughs> yeah, we gained a broken heart that I wasn't expecting there. But yeah, I feel like it's it's one of those ways that I wish more places would adopt. It's it's a very good way of working. I prefer it. I mean, also, at the same time, it can be very heavily abused. I feel like because I'm part of a startup, or what is still technically a startup, obviously there's a lot more trust between employees that they're not going to absolutely take the piss because we're all trying to build towards the same thing. But I feel like in a, in a much larger like corporate structure, it might not work as well because... If, if you aren't being monitored as closely and you're not you're not as caring about the work that you're doing There's a lot of people that will just take the piss Um, I really really regret using a key on this. Don't you dare steal my charges, please Goddamn lost fly. Oh the respray on lost fly looks pretty nice. So yeah, I feel like it, it, it is situational, but I feel like especially like working from home IT, but IT wise, I know a few people that work from home and they still have to like clock in, clock out, and I'm like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I, I remember seeing like during COVID, and it, it still comes up every now and again, articles where people are like, like there was articles where it's like, oh, everyone's working from home and people are spending their work hours watching TV. It's like, and they're in their own home. If the work is getting done, what's it to you, fuckboy? Like, leave people alone. <laughs> like, I, I just I just really don't understand. If they're skipping out on work to do it, then yeah, by all means, have a go. But if they are getting the work done as expected and on time, who gives a flibbity fuck if they're fucking watching TV on work time? Who cares? It's just silly. Right, I don't think we need a little Abaddon here. Oh, hello. Overcharge your active item. I mean, why not? Let's get gone. Sadly, no keys for us. There ain't no keys for the wicked. Keys don't grow on trees. I got bills to pay. I got mouths to feed. There ain't nothing in this world for free. Die, minions of hell. That was pretty satisfying. And there's the key. Okay. Ooh, ooh, the champion version of that mushroom dude looks really cool. Is everyone excited for the Mario film? What's people's thoughts on that? Like, so far it seems pretty good. Like, it seems like... It... <coughs> Sorry, I got something in my throat there. <coughs> seems like it could be pretty decent, but I'm still not quite sure what to think, just because Chris Pratt. <laughs> Stop putting Chris Pratt in things. He doesn't need to be in everything. God damn, I, I, like, I used to really like him as an actor, like, sort of, I really liked him in Parks and Recreation, and I quite liked him in Guardians of the Galaxy, and then pretty much ever since then, he's just been in roles that I'm like, no, no, no thank you. Like, I didn't really like him in the new Jurassic Park films. To be honest, I don't really like the new Jurassic Park films as a whole, but, um, I didn't really like him in those, um, and yeah, he just kept, keeps getting, like, other work that's like, eh, just why? <laughs> He's, he, like, especially when, like, I, I know everyone's made this observation. It's not exactly a revelation for me to talk about this. But, like, he's not a voice actor. <laughs> he's clearly not a voice actor. Hire a talented voice actor. In fact, why not just hire a video game voice actor? There is a multitude of incredibly talented video game voice actors. Why not hire them to voice the video game character in a film? Hmm. 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 <laughs> Would that not be easier? Would they not have quite a lot more range and quite a lot more experience than Chris Pratt? Mm, I think they would. I think they would. It is rather frustrating. But that's that's really my only hang-up about the film. The trailers look pretty good. It seems like they've done a, a pretty interesting way of adapting things. I saw the newest trailer recently. They're doing some Mario Kart stuff as well. I'm going to be interested to see how that plays into the plot. Because it feels like... It can't. <laughs> it feels like it's going to be kind of shoehorned in, which I wouldn't particularly hate. Oh my god, I've got so much money. Let me buy some stuff. Ooh, actually, the perfect opportunity. I still, this will be my first time buying it. Give me the no trinket. No more active items for me. 
I like this one. Stop giving me actives. This is the first time since I've had this mod on that I've actually bought the, the Nur Trinket. But I'm super happy. Because normally I either already have a great trinket, I don't have the money for it. But this time, I neither have a trinket, and I also have a good use for it. So it's like, hey her. Ooh, we got the double trouble here. Cracked key, cracked key. Where do you go? I'm not a big fan of these little mushroom fellas. They are on a tirade right now. They just like to sit over the top of rocks. I like pooters. They're just fucking annoying. Right, where can we use our cracked key? Where can we use it? Here looks decent enough. Let's give that a go. Yeah, yeah. What do we get? Very, very good indeed. I very much like this item. We also got the double dice shard. I like that a lot. Yeah, this item is amazing. We have got a red rune there, but I don't think it has too much use for us right now. Something I should do this floor if I get the opportunity, which I'm, I'm going to try and do. Oh, look at that. Look at that damage. Oh, my lord. This item is transformative. That's very nice. Um, right. Let's quickly go back over here. Um, yeah, so one thing I really should do is, just while we have the chance, I should dice shard the shop. You see? And get an item, potentially get a good item. Because I have another dice shard available in here that literally wouldn't have been used. Weird that the dice shard isn't, the sprite of it isn't changed in my inventory, but it is on the floor. I'm not quite sure what that's about. <gasps> Holy card. Holy card. Thank you. And then I guess I could dice shard the angel as well here. But yeah, ever since they added the electric to these lasers, oh damn, the technology lasers, it's just, oh, so good. Never used to have those before. But it has made this item very good. I love items like this that are very transformative. Oh, I used my holy card by accident there, but we got a bunch of keys out of it, so I'm happy. Greedy Olympic, not bad. Not bad. Right, we are good to go. Um, no, we're not good to go. There is something I have forgotten, and I'll be remiss if I forgot it. Give me the red rune. We used both our dice shards, and now we're good to go. Honestly, I feel like playing in the morning is kind of waking me up a little bit. I feel like I'm playing pretty well. I'm remembering things. I've got the gears are turning. <clears throat> Ow. And then I immediately walk directly into an enemy, but let's not think about that. Whoa, the knockback on that guy was insane. Oh. Oh. Get gone, fellas. Goddamn, my fire rate goes absolutely fucking wild when it um when we use that book. We've already got really high fire rate as it is. But yeah, high shot speed, plus piercing, plus setting enemies on fire, plus the extra lasers. This is just a top, top, top tier item. I'm surprised it works so well as well. I mean, like, it's quite a different way of firing, and it just works so nicely. Bunch of sticky nickels. My limpet thing broke. We are very good on money right now. Set you both on fire. Wait until you burn to death. This is the way. But yeah, so today I've got a, I've got a lot to do today. Oh, it's a busy day. I've got two Isaac videos, an Enter the Gungeon video, 
Um, I've got to finish off the work that I'm meant to be doing because I'm leaving for uh, my trip tomorrow. I've got to onboard a new hire that we just brought on. Ooh, almond milk plus this? Hell yeah. Um, oh, beautiful. That's, that's, that's amazing. Um, you can bring on the new hire, and then my girlfriend has, um, like a, a leaving due party for someone that's leaving their work. And I've got to go to that at, like, six. So I've, I've, I've got a lot to do and very limited time to do it in. It's, um, rather, rather a tight day, so I'm, I'm hoping, after this video, I can absolutely bash out- This is an amazing synergy, by the way. Uh, I can absolutely bash out my work, get it done for, like, 3 p.m. maybe. Then I've got an hour to do a video before my normal meeting. Yeah, this is this is going to be a tricky day. Ooh, hello. I think I'm going to red rune the cat food. I'm willing to drop bank on this boulder. I'm willing to drop bank on Cupid's arrow. That was an incredibly lucrative payout. And then we'll red rune this. Wow. Yeah, this is this is pretty awesome. I mean, we just upped our damage by an absolute fuckload. We have 4.79 damage with almond milk. That's obscene. <laughs> That's higher than the damage we started with. That's absolutely crazy. And we still have 29, 30 fire rate, essentially. Oh, what? How is the rune still not over? What the hell? There you go. We got a lot going on right now. I just used a lot of discs. Our fire rate doesn't even increase when we use our book anymore. <laughs> Quickly just go back and grab a few things here. Tears up. <laughs> the noise that it makes as well. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And was this worth it? It was. Huzzah. A glass D6 is pretty good to take along with us. Yeah, this spindle item that we just got that gave us all the discs and gives you, gives you one disc pair boss fight. Do not know how on earth it's considered a uh, quality one. It is... Very good. And away we go. Our other discs are about to run out any second now. But we got Luna for the floor, which meant we get we got our extra secret rooms. So nice. So we no longer get the, the beams of light, but that doesn't matter because we still get the actual secret rooms, and that's all we really care about. Yeah, my active item literally does nothing now. I'll take that now, at this point. Why not? Sadly, not great secret room so far. Nice. 
not amazing. That wasn't terrible. See if we can find our item room here. <clears throat> I'm just about to say I was a bit dubious we were going the right way. Yeah, anything like this I, I'll always take like almond milk with. People are too scared of items like almond milk. I think there's so much fun. Like, there's so much uh, potential for synergy that I think they should pretty much always be taken. Old Relic, pretty good, but not the best considering we have a lot of money. Uh, let's see if we can get ourselves a bomb and um, and start re-rolling that. I want something a little more synergistic. Well, old boots are pretty good though, but yeah, I want something that fits into the run a little more. Taking some bad hits here, but honestly with our health right now it really doesn't matter. Come on, little game. Give us a bomb. You know you want to. There you go. Right, and we can be on our way now. Hopefully this doesn't take too much money. No, thank you. No, thank you. Oh my god, we're not getting much good stuff here so far. That is good. There you go. We got Lusty Blood, which should be insanely good for us, honestly. Like, insanely so. Alright, let's keep moving along. We got an Angel Disc, which we can just pop now, I guess. That, that's pretty nice. That's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of stuff going on on screen, but I like it. Where's that glass D6? There it is. Right. Away we go. I could potentially do a greed run next, because for one, they are a little short, which would help with recording times. But also, I haven't done one in a while, and they are quite fun. I've been enjoying them a lot more since we got the mods that make them more unique, so I don't know what people would think about that. I know some of you don't like greed runs, but I also know some of you do, and I like to add variety in here and there. Whatever item I've got that's doing these angel beams, I like it. It's, it's, it's insane. I'm actually in slight disbelief that I made it to the boss while still having this angel disc active. It's quite beautiful. Amazing. Wow. That was quite something. Sadly, nothing there that I want. Let's get out of here. Skedaddle, skadoodle. Yeah, that was beautiful. We just zoomed through that floor. Nice. We're going to do the same again. We've got to keep the mapping. Keeping the mapping is pretty huge for us. God damn. This is why I love almond milk. Just insanity ensues. I did an extra room here for no reason. Where the hell's the last enemy in this room? Oh, it's you. God damn it. I hate you. I love our little void portal. Cool.
What the hell is left in this room? I had no idea. I just kept firing and eventually it died. Never knowing what it was. I realize I should be going to more of my secret rooms here, but I don't even have bombs right now, so it's not a high priority. But, when you manage to do that, it's pretty good going. Turn all pickups uh, into blue flies. Um, spawn three random trinkets. All of them were gold. Was that, was that what the card did, or am I dumb? Um, Mew Mew Fairies. What the fuck does that mean? We also got... Fucking let me read the thing, you goddamn shyster. Um, each floor has a max... Ah, no, nah, we're not going to do that. We're going to take... We're going to take the penny. Oh my god, I wish I could just pick this up without the game shitting itself. Thank you. We got Skeleton Key. Where the hell do we get that from? I guess. I don't really need it, but thank you. Oh, we got a brimstone ghost in the house. Amazing. Right, let's keep pushing through. Let's keep on pushing through. But yeah, I think this is... This run has sufficiently awoken me. Tell you what hasn't. Having Mars. Fuck Mars. Mars is ass. We have an absolute, like, fucking treasure trove of followers here. There's just so many of them. There's so many little friends. So many little fellas by our side. And then I think the port will just keep spawning more and more the longer it's alive. Elibri. Nice. I'm just going to take this considering our active doesn't do anything anymore. I could, I guess, re-roll, try and get something better, but this is health. I'll take it. Oh, we also got that item that turns enemies purple and brings them onto our side, too. That one's also pretty nutty. It seems that we've gone the wrong way thus far. That ain't good. I kind of got duked out here. Both of these, like, this way was all secret rooms. Like, that normally indicates where the boss is, and it completely lied to me. I know it's not a, a complete fact all, all the time that it will, will be the secret rooms, but, like, it's pretty, it's pretty likely. I got juked out by it. It's heading towards the secret rooms, and it's like, ha ha ha. Fooled you. Free trial's over. Big sad. I was enjoying my free trial. Oh really? Wrong way again? How? <laughs> this is some this is some big bullshit. Like this is the most wrong ways I've been before. Here's me like, hey, I need to make these episodes a little faster because I've got lots to do today and the game's like, meh. Yeah, I don't know about that, sir. We've got we've got at least six dead ends in store for you, sir. You're going to end up spending an extra 15 minutes on the episode just walking back and forth. So, I know those minutes would be precious to you, but eh. Right. Here's the boss, at least. We found her. I say her. It's not her. It's definitely not a her. Ooh, Trisagian. Oh, my lord. What has happened here? The game's gonna crash. Fuck me. No, don't crash. Don't do it, game. You can live. 
We can survive this, I promise. Holy. I didn't expect Trisagian to be quite so wacky with the setup. It's always wacky, but like that was particularly quite bonkers. My reflection definitely adds a bit of sauce, doesn't it? So clever. <laughs> Give me a bunch of lemmigetting wisps. Look at this. What the fuck is this? That is glorious. I fired once, by the way, in this room. I fired a single time. That is so beautiful. I can't really unleash the fury because I think my game will break. I'm, I'm waiting for Trisagian to go away so I can start firing normally again, I'll be honest. Because it was just on a plat uh, planetarium disc. No, 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 an angel disc, so it will go away eventually. But it is pretty beautiful, though. We have created something pretty marvellous here. Alright, hopefully we're going the right way here as well. <laughs> it's just like an octopus fucking tsunami of tentacles. You foiled me again, super secret room. How dare you? You foiled me again. I can't believe you've done this. There, there you go. We're back to being able to actually fire. My reflection seems weird with this. My reflection, another item that I, I just do not understand why people don't like. It is like pretty much always good. There's only really a few scenarios in which is actively bad. It's, it's kind of actively bad if you have really low range, although it gives you a lot of range. Or if you have Dr. Fetus. Apart from that, I think it's always a must-take. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. That was a lot of fun, and I'll see you guys in the next one.